Hello beauty queens and yes I'm back with another video. This video will be all about this nice Kendra's Boutique straight hair. I am absolutely in love with this unit. Um, so you guys are going to be seeing today me create this unit from start to finish. I will tell you guys this and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this on camera but I did put some color to it so like in the sun it's kind of like it's like a subtle plummy like color and then in the sun it kind of you can really see it like really good that was kind of what I was going for I was hoping it would be able to show up a little bit more inside not so much I just want it to be real subtle like a plummy color and then when you get into the sun I want it to be you know you can really see it and um I think as time goes on when I wash it I think it's gonna be because like the color is more visible each day that I wear the unit because I just made the unit I just want to come on camera and film like a um intro to the video to let you guys know I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I make my custom uh, closure wigs um first off I have three bundles in a closure of the Kendra's Boutique uh, Brazilian straight hair I have lengths my closure I think is a 14 inch um, I have lengths 18 20 and 22 um, I have not purchased hair in two years from Kendra's because it holds up so long and every time that I want to go with another company I see myself lingering back on her website and end up purchasing this so initially I want to go with another company I wanted to kind of you know just give some other companies a chance out there but I have never tried the straight hair from Kendra's and I'm so glad I did. Kendra is pretty much like old faithful, you know what I'm saying? Like when in doubt, I know this hair is going to work well for me. I've been wearing her hair for over four years now, so I'm pretty confident in the product that she sells. So uh, for three bundles and a closure, this was about $370 and that's including shipping. That's how, that's everything included. So it's pretty good price. Um, all of her hair that I initially bought, I still have all of it except the very first time. And that's because I used it for quite a bit of sew-ins before I actually created that into a wig. And you guys know my very first wig, I did not use a closure from Kendra. So um, I no longer have that hair, but all the other hair I've had, you know, bought from her in the past, I still have those units over there where my wigs are. And um, so, uh, my oldest unit is like three and a half years old and like I told you guys this is my first hair my first time buying hair in about two years so I'm so excited about this hair I'm so excited about this unit it lays so freaking flat this is the look that I was going for I wanted something straight real sleek and I want to say that I nailed the style to the to the hit like I nailed it so the style I was going for and um yeah I'm so in love with this sleek look I just it makes me look so classy for work and just so nice and clean and polished I love this straight look and um I'm going to show you guys how I make the wig from start to finish as well as um showing you a little bit of when I colored the hair um, I use the high colors, uh, deep violet and red violet, I think. Um, I use those two mixed together. I, I bought four boxes, but I only ended up using about two of them. Um, because the ratio that you poured in is like two parts the developer and one part of the color. So, yeah, um, like I said, it really didn't lift it like I wanted it to, but I can see it. It's visible to me. And then like when I look in the mirror, I don't see it as much and on camera, I don't see it as much. It looks cold black, but honestly it is like a violet color. Oh y'all, I'm so in love with this hair. And I just refuse to bleach it. I've seen something on YouTube saying you can go back on top of it with bleach and it'll make the color pop and I feel like the more I wear this and wash it I believe it's gonna come out and I'm really not concerned if the I, I do kind of want it to be seen like a little bit in the sun but I'm okay because it's so beautiful so yeah and um I just want to go over something real quick a lot of times I I do use closures versus frontals I'm not a big frontal fan 
and the reason it is is just that it's too it's too much maintenance and for somebody that's ready like me in the mornings I'm always cutting it for time like I'm not always late but I'm always cutting time and like with a closure you just throw it on and go and brush and that's it uh, people don't understand when you get uh, frontals you have to it's, it's just a lot of maintenance you have to manipulate them I do have one frontal unit but I have I have tweaked that frontal so much to where it finally lays perfectly for me and that's just 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 over time for me just t tweaking it and uh, adjusting the elastic band so I just want to kind of put that out there because I know a lot of people like that look because it's realistic and I thought that I would need a front to create this, you know, um, straight, sleek look in the front. But as you can see, even with the front, you can still get that sleek look. It's not bulky or anything like that. I'm going to turn around so you guys can see the back and show you that it's, it's not bulky back there at all. So, this is how she's looking at the back. She is so gorgeous. I'm so in love with this hair, y'all. So, I hope you guys... Uh, I'm going to put it back in the front. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if I didn't answer any questions, uh, feel free below to leave me uh, any questions you have about the unit or whatever. About how I make, how I make my unit. I'm not a professional um, hair stylist. This is just what I like to do. I'm self-taught watching youtube videos and just kind of learning from trial and error i know what works for me and yeah that's pretty much it so um yeah uh, without further ado um we're gonna go ahead and get into the video hopefully i'll be able to do a voiceover so i can kind of tell step by step what i'm doing actually in the video um yeah so i hope you guys enjoy the video and big kisses mwah, and i hope i see you guys in the next video All right, guys, so first things first, we're gonna start off measuring our head for our custom unit. We're gonna do some circumference measure, measurement. Uh, we're gonna also do from ear to ear and also from the forehead to the nape of the neck. And these are all the measurements you'll need in order to have the perfect custom unit. So yeah, we're gonna start there. Next, we're going to actually take that closure and this is the type of cap that I use. I use the mesh uh, dome cap instead of the uh, regular spandex dome cap. And it's more breathable. As you can see, it's mesh, so your, your, your scab is able to breathe through it. So I love this cap so much. And you're going to see me take this little concealer pen and just make some little dots on my cap. This is where the actual closure meets the cap here. And that's going to help you out so much once you get the cap on the wig head. And this will tell you exactly where to put your closure. Simple as that. After we make those little markings on our head, whenever I get it together, we're going to then proceed with putting the cap on our canvas wig block. Uh, after I got my measurements, I found out that I am a 22 inch circumference, so I'll be using a 22 inch wig block in order to make my wig today. So right now I'm just going to secure the cap on the actual wig block. It's a canvas wig block. You can get these on Amazon. And basically we're going to go ahead and add that closure and match up those dots that you've seen on the closure with the dots that you've seen on the cap. Easy peasy, okay? So once we match those up, we're going to begin to sew. We're going to sew actually one side. You're not going to go all the way around. And as you can see, I'm going to be sewing through the elastic band here. This is the only time you'll sew through the elastic band. And then you will sew again once you get to the uh, tracks and once we move closer to the front. But I do not, I repeat, I do not sew on the elastic band. Not even on the fabric that's on top. I just leave the elastic band all alone completely this is the only time I sew on it and I will sew on it as well when it gets closer to the end of the video and I'll bring that to your attention but we're going to just sew down one side first then we're going to flip the cap around I'm sorry they're going to flip the head around and sew on the other side down so it can be nice and tight 
and that way you don't have any of those lumps and bumps in your closure so once we're done and you can also see the elastic right there that's in the middle the middle point of the cap right there i'm going to actually sew down on that as well and this is the only time i sew down on that as well because if you sew down through the elastic band throughout the cap it'll prevent it from stretching okay so now we're going to flip the head over sew down on the other side make sure we hold that nice and tight that way that our Closure can be nice and tight, and like I said before, no bumps or lumps when you're parting your um, closure. Now, I don't switch my part up, but I still want it to be really, really smooth. So, as you guys know, instead of me switching up my part, I basically just move the wig where I want it to go. And that's simple as that. Once we get through sewing down this side, then we'll proceed in sewing down the back. After I sew down the back, I also try it on at this point just to kind of make sure everything is fitting properly, make sure I don't need to adjust anything. I thought I recorded that part, but evidently I did not. But I do take the wig off the head uh, once I get the closure on intact just to make sure it fits my head properly. And then I proceed uh, with putting the wig back on the canvas head and then I pr pr uh, proceed to actually start sewing, making the wig as well. So, before I get started sewing, I've been using this new technique where I take that same concealer pen and I just draw some like lines all the way around. Kind of wanted, I wanted you to see, I want to know where I want my tracks to lay when I get towards the front because I want it to lay very flat. So, as you can see, it's kind of like a guideline that I use to follow to make sure the wig is laying properly and it's making sure it's flat and make sure I don't get off track, you know. So, that's basically what those lines are there for. Uh, once you wash your wig, and they're not visible, those lines. It's just basically there to help you, and I'll just be actually sewing in the tracks. Now, the first um, bundle, I do single weft. Once I get to the second bundle, I do double weft. And once I get to the last bundle, I double and single weft. You're just going to have to know what you know to do for your unit. Um, like with my unit, I kind of know how I want it to look and I want to make sure I fit all the hair in it. And if I feel that, um, you know, if I'm going to have too much hair left, I'll double it up. If I feel like I'm going to be running out of hair, I'll single. But I do not cut my welts. I just pretty much just fold them over and just stitch and that's it. And it doesn't leave it bulky or anything as long as you stitch it down properly once you do fold it over. And... We're back at the top, and I just didn't want to show it be a really repetitive, me just, you know, showing me sewing all the way up. But once I get to the top here, I do start to sew through the elastic band again. And once I'm done, that went really fast. I wish it was fast like that in real life. But I'm going to go ahead and cut out that extra wig, that cap that we do not need. And, um, yeah, so the lace could actually, you could see through it. So that's pretty much it. The only thing I didn't show you on this video was how I add my elastic band and my two wig combs at the back. If you guys feel like I did not go over something that you wanted to see, please let me know. This is my first time making a full video like this. And um, as I make wigs for other people, I will try to record them just so you guys can see, especially if it's a different hair company. So if you guys are curious, since you know I only use the Kendra's Boutique. And now I'm just going to be laying down the hair, just making sure it's real sleek. And I'm going to be using my hot comb for that and also my Kendra's Boutique's flat irons. And I'm going to just be laying the hair down. And that's pretty much it. You can actually see the color a little bit in these clips. And I'm going to actually leave some pictures as well after this, just so you can get the gist of how it's laying properly. And I love this unit. Like, this is, I love the hair. It's absolutely beautiful. I have been neglecting my other units since I've made this one. I'm just so in love with this unit. I could just get up and throw it on when it's time to go to work. Get up and throw it on anytime, and it fits so amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, this is my first time recording a start to finish of me making a unit. And hopefully in the future, I'll record more. And um, you let me know if you want to see anything in particular or if I need to answer any questions in the comment section, okay? Hope you guys enjoy. Again, big kisses. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will leave some photos at the end, so be sure that you stay tuned, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.